Well, after a two-year hiatus, Pride is back in a big way. Thousands flocked to the 30th annual Queen's Pride Parade and Festival on Sunday to celebrate love and equality. New York One's Rebecca Greenberg reports from Jackson Heights. A colorful celebration of pride, love, and acceptance in Jackson Heights. Pride. Priscilla Rocco and her wife Monica marched with their two children in the 30th annual Queen's Pride Parade and Festival on Sunday. Monica says she hopes to show her kids that they belong. My son just got to the age where he's asking questions and I want him to know that it's okay. It's okay to not have the same family as his classmates. We are the only mom, mom in his class. And he knows his family is just as beautiful as everyone else's. The Roccos were among thousands of people who proudly marched, sang, danced, and waved rainbow flags along 37th Avenue. Organizers were happier than ever to be back in full force after the pandemic put this celebration on hold. It feels amazing to be back here after a two-year hiatus, celebrating Pride together with over 50,000 people, so many smiles, so much love, so much power in this crowd, um, you know, to be together and celebrate and march for our rights as well. This year, the Queen's Pride Parade honored Julio Rivera, a gay Puerto Rican man from Jackson Heights who was murdered in 1990. This case became the first crime against a member of the LGBTQ community to be tried as a hate crime in New York State. Pride is and always has been about survival. It's very important to show a new generation that we can all come together and survive and thrive. Although progress has been made in the fight for equality, participants say there is still a long way to go. From the advent of anti-LGBTQ laws like the so-called Don't Say Gay Bill in Florida to societal pressures to stay in the closet. Just be kind. You know, we're missing that. And we should be. Priscilla and Monica want anyone who is afraid to come out to know that the LGBTQ community is ready to welcome you with open arms. I waited maybe a little too long, but I'm glad I did. And I'm glad of the life I have right now because I am to say that I'm a lesbian and I have two beautiful kids and an amazing wife. Parade participants say that pride is still a protest and they will not rest until every member of the LGBTQ community feels safe to be out and